Hello, this is Crenstar, and today I am looking at one of the really cool things that Bitwig has put in the version 5 that I think either was snuck in in one of the betas and I didn't notice, uh, or was released in the final version. Today I'm using the full version of Bitwig 5, no beta. Uh, this is the full release candidate, and what we are looking at, aside from the Arturia C CZV, uh, which is a really cool synth, by the way, uh, the uh, key track... Uh, right here, uh, the key track plus. So if you go in here, you you click on it and you look at key track. You you have two of them now. You have key track plus, and then you have uh, relative key track. Relative key track is the old version that used to be able to do just this, and and it was okay for um uh, So so let me let me rewind it here. Key tracking is for, if you don't know, key tracking is for modulation using the position on the keyboard. So if you play stuff in the lower C1 through C3 area, based upon this little graph here that, that does not go up, it only goes lower and it goes in. So basically, it's it's really hard to work with. And that, that's the reason why this is so freaking cool, by the way. Uh, this is the this is the new key track plus right here, and this is the old key track. Uh, so what they did is they added this modulation um, MSEG editor to to key track. Uh, so now we can we can uh, realistically from here see it has the the labels. So this is where my C1 range, this is my C0 range. Down here is the C3. This is the F3. This is the G3, and so you can see that I have a whole lot of things going on in my my normal C range C3 range. Uh, and then and then it just goes low for the C and then and then I have it flipped um, on the uh, on the uh, uh, this one down here. So this is this is uh, messing with my macro one, which is the timbre over here, and this is messing with macro two, which is my time over here. Uh, and then I'll I'll uh, I'll give it a demo demo of of how how you can mess with it. But basically. What this does is that depending on where you are in the key region, what you're put, pressing, and I got the, the four actives down here so that you can you can see very well how, how it works, is uh, it'll it'll change the modulation based upon where you're pressing on the keyboard. So if we're doing the in the yeah, uh, C4s, you see it goes all the way up to here because that's where I have my C4. But if we go to the fives, it goes all the way down here. And notice the the time thing here. So times there, times there. Pretty cool. Uh, so any anywhere in here, so I can press in the between the threes. And you can see my my knobs turning based upon where I am on the keyboard. But instead of just being stuck to the 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 older version of the key track where it only goes down and it, it maybe go up and down and and look it, this this is kind of hard to work with and it. it it's just relative, and uh, it, it's okay. It's okay. It, it worked for its time, and it, it's really good. This is awesome. Uh, it allows you total modulation control of uh, changing around uh, the the keys to based upon your needs of where you want to be for, for pressing this. So if I want a different sound based upon, like, say, the A key, you see the A key's uh, doing here. So if I wanted to go up on the A key, I can. Pretty cool. This also this also works with MPE. So if your device doesn't listen to MPE uh, for the for the pitch tracking, um, so right now the Arturia devices actually do support MPE, um, and it, it does work really well. But I have it turned off. Um, so I want to I want to show. Uh, it, that that basically for this key tracking, you can actually get the modulation to, to actually work with this pitch slider without a whole lot of hassle. And that is uh, beyond belief awesome. I'd be screaming right now uh, and sure happiness if I wasn't doing a video and, 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 and the, the micro. Anyways, just wow. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty, really, really, really cool. Um, uh, this could you could get this to happen before, but it was a sort of really difficult and it involved the grid and stuff like that. Or at least that's the way I got it to work. Uh, the previous key tracking worked, but it wasn't as exact. And, and you, I mean, you see it. it it's it's I mean, this is all you get, right? 
there's not a whole lot of, of variance that you, you get with this, but this has all of the tools and techniques and um, stuff that you could do. Plus, also, you right click here and you got these transforms, and then you could do even more stuff with it. Uh, you can copy the curves, you can paste, and then and then you got that that all everything has this M MSEG library. Um, beyond belief, awesome. Uh, that you can sit there and you can store your curves, you can save them, and you can do other things with them. Um, so that this key tracking plus is phenomenal, and it was buried in the change notes. Uh, that's that's the silliest thing. It was buried. Um, for the amount of little power this little module can give you for. Or the, the the amount of modulation that it could do uh, is is actually really cool. Um, so one of the one of the really cool things about this uh, that also could be cool is is this X Y. Um, uh, actually, let me, let me just go here. Let me pop it in the browser and let me look for this this X Y either instrument or effects doesn't really matter. But uh, basically, this key tracking now could actually uh, automate this X Y grid. A whole lot better. So now, when I move it, it actually it actually works against the it's against the X Y perfectly. And if I wanted to do the the timbre, um, so let, let's uh, let's do the uh, um, um expressions. Here we go. And then the timbre here, and then let's do the, the the X Y on the timbre. Oh my God! That is awesome. You win, Bitwig. You win. End of story. Awesome. Very freaking awesome. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm I'm. Uh, it just it's just that is is pretty cool because basically i can press on my i got a touch uh, a touch screen uh, a monitor um so i can basically press on on this area right here and be able to use it like an x y pad without going through a seven million hurdles to get that 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 um this working right here beyond belief uh um awesome just just awesome um so so i i suggest go out and playing with it um it, this this is uh, you'll probably hopefully hopefully if I can <laughs> uh, you'll you'll see me do a lot more stuff with this um, only because it just unlocked a lot of a lot of different uh, creativity and expressionist expressionist expressionism being able to do a lot of things with just pressing on my keyboard and, or pressing on my screen and moving it around um, within it. It's it's uh it, it's awesome. Um, I I I am I, I, I can't fanboy enough over this. I, I apologize for my fanboy fanboying, but uh, uh, it's it's well deserved. I think. Um, it, it is it is pretty cool, especially when I found out that Bitwig had these, but it was harder to use and hard to set up for for just this movement. But hands down, can't can't say I love it enough. I could probably spend another five minutes, but I'm not. I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, hopefully you got as much out of it as I did. Um, this is a very cool thing to work with. Um, I like it. And it, again, it was buried in the notes. It was like, oh, by the way, we got this key track plus here. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and I will catch you later.